In today's video I'm going to be showing you how to create a button that when it's pressed it's going to remove all the adverts when a payment is made. So to demonstrate what I'm talking about I'm just going to press the preview button. And this is an application that I've already made. It's available on the Google Play Store. Probably made it about a year ago and it's called Flag Quiz. So if somebody opens the mobile phone up and play this game, um, they can then select one of the continents, I'll select Africa. And what will happen is you'll see a full screen advert pop up over here and then there'll probably be an X or a close button. Click on that and then the user can then continue to enjoy playing the game. Uh, obviously you won't see an advert in the browser on the laptop because it just doesn't work like that. But on a mobile phone, um, when everything's set up properly, you will see an advert. So while I'm here, I'm just going to show you the game itself. So you get the country name, Algeria. And if I click on this flag, we get it wrong and we lose a life on this one we get it correct and this number starts to increase and we've got 54 countries in Africa so let's carry on so we get that one right we get that wrong we get that one wrong and it's game over so we can come out of here and we can continue with the same um, continent or we can choose a different one or we can go on more where there's even more quizzes to play on and if somebody is feeling really generous and very happy they may decide to go on this donation button and it brings this donation page and they can then leave a donation by clicking on this donation button or this one or this one and it doesn't matter if they're living in America, Europe or any part of the world because whatever they give, it goes at the going exchange rate. I'll also make a little comment over here. So it helps to support the continuation of the development of my app. And it also gives them something as well. So it removes all the adverts. OK, so this is an app that I've made about a year ago and it's fully working works really great um, and if you want to create something similar do please keep watching the video and I'm going to explain how to do this. So let's just come out of here and if I open a new project so step one it's going to be a few steps so start with step one so double tap we want to add three plugins so scroll down, we're under monetization, select mobile advert. We will also need this one as well. So double tap again, because we know it's IAP. So IAP is short for in-app purchase. So we need Google Play as well. OK, so that's step one complete. So if we go back into my flag quiz, you can see that I've got those over here. So step two is let's fill the details of the plugins. So click on Google Play. And right over here it says application ID Android. And you want to fill it in the format of com.companyName name of your game and I would recommend if we scroll up click on your project title and where it says ID if you haven't filled this in already I would recommend doing that now and when you've got it all highlighted press Control C scroll down click on Google Play again and if this is empty, 
just press Control V and then that will paste that in here. This way you won't make a spelling mistake and everything will continue working great. Okay, so next we need to click on mobile advert. And where it says Android application ID, you want to fill this in. So this is what it looks like. So this is actually a Google sample Android application ID and it has this squiggly dash line as well. So when you come to do yours, you can use this one if you just want to test things out. But when you do um, want to publish your app, you want to put your real um, number in here and export it as an Android app bundle. So if we click on mobile in-app purchase, you can see that this one don't need to do anything over here. That's completely fine. So yep, that's step two complete. And if we go into our game page, so if you remember this one, we want to go into the events of this. Scroll to the top. So step three, we want to add a global variable. So right click, add global variable. You want to call it something like remove advert, something simple that you'll remember and give it the initial value as zero and press OK. So as you can see, I've got mine over here, remove flag quiz advert. OK, so that's step three complete. On to step four. Step four, we need to add in the event stuff in the event sheet. So Google Play, on signed in, Google Play, request player details. So this is very important to have in. This over here, this is an optional thing, but I would strongly recommend having it in. So Google Play, on signed out, Google Play, sign back in again. Okay, so step uh, five now, we want to actually create the advert. So we go system, on starter layout, mobile advert, and I've gone with create interstitial advert. So if I just click on this, just show you steps. So you click on that one. Click on that one and it's very important that you don't delete these double quotation marks. You want to leave the double quotation at the start and the end. And again, this is a Google sample advert unit ID and I've left this on true. OK, so what, what this does on with it being on true, it creates the advert and as soon as it's been created, it will show it straight away. And I've also added this condition as well. So to add a condition, just left click over here. And you would just right click. Add another condition. Go system. Compare variable. And I called mine this one and then you click on done. So that adds it, so it's looking like this. Okay, so just a little uh, word about the Google sample I IDs. If I just open this up. So this is what I've been using. Uh, don't worry, you don't have to write this down. I'll probably leave, if I remember, I'll leave it in the description of my YouTube video. And I've also got the website address as well, so you can check that out and check that I'm not doing anything dodgy, like trying to sneak my IDs in, into your app or anything. Um, 
and yes and I've got this one with the squiggly line as well over here okay so I'm not too sure what step I'm on now but probably about six I think so next of all we need to in fact I'm going to explain how it all works actually so what's going to happen is we've got this condition over here so if it is equal to zero this variable it will then create the advert and it'll show it straight away but if somebody has made a payment using this mobile in-app purchase it will then create uh, it will set this variable to one so it will mean that this will no longer apply so it w won't be created and it won't show the advert either okay so that's that's kind of how it works so you, you, the pain just to sort of set this variable to one that's that's what it is and I should also mention some other things about this mobile in-app purchase so if we go on to our donation page over here and we go on to the the event sheet for this so donate events you can see that I've added the Google Play stuff again and I've got it touch on tap gesture on this green sprite so the green sprite uh, these bits over here you then have mobile in-app purchase stretch this out and you click on you want to purchase product and then I've got this over here so important to have the double quotation marks and you can of course name it whatever you want but um, I don't think it works if you start it with a number so I don't know if it works with a capital letter either so I'd probably stick with lowercase letters and no fancy characters like exclamation marks or anything like that just to make sure that it works fine okay so underneath here we need to go mobile in-app purchase has product so the same thing here as to here we then go on system and then set this global variable to one okay so if we go back into the, the game level event sheet see it very similar so that's that is this all done um, just going to do do a little word on these uh, adverts actually because you when it comes to publishing your app you're not going to want to have um these sample unit ids so when, when you're testing it out so you, if you have it like this you could go on menu project export if those as they are and then if you're testing it out you go on debug and then I've got a video that will explain how to put it onto your mobile phone just for the testing purposes to see just to see if your adverts working as you expect and you go next and publish it and put it onto your phone okay but when you want to have real adverts you want to replace this number as well as this number with real numbers so to do this you need to go onto google admob so the website is apps.admob.com and you'll see a screen like this so in order to create those numbers just click on apps and you want to go on add app and this annoying pop-up thing is in the way again uh, you want to just go to the side of this if you can find a little sliver 
and you go on Android and you go on no because it's not yet published onto the Play Store. Go on continue, give your app a name and then you click on add app. Okay and then over here you'll see that your app has got this grey Android logo and if we just I'm just going to click on one just to, I'm not using this one and your screen may be different I don't know but the principle is the same click on that and you'll see this sort of screen and you click on select you then add your add unit name call it whatever you want and click on create add unit once you've done that you'll then have a real advert number over here that you can put in and you can also put your real one over here and when you've done that and you you've tested it out and it's all working fine you want to publish it click on menu project export and you want to go on this one signed android app bundle and if you've got any permissions like local storage you want to click on that okay and when you've exported it you'll have your your android app bundle file you want to go into the google play console and i've already published my app so it'll look a bit different to this your screen but you'll have something similar and you want to go on production upload your android app bundle and then you want to select the countries and when you've done that you go on to your main store listing so you fill in your description add your screenshots your app icon things like that then click on store settings and then say if it's an app or a game and it also let you manage your tags as well and then keep scrolling down you go on app content so this will fill in your privacy policy you'll also do a, an age rating questionnaire and it'll ask questions like is it a news app things like that and there's also this thing over here so in app products just click on that so you want to create a product as you can see I've got three for this app and very important that you um, don't make a spelling mistake this this over here if we go back on to our quiz this has got to match up with whatever you type in over here and I think that is probably everything I want to say so if you have any questions you know do please ask me um, and if you're not subscribed already please do every bit helps and thank you for watching hope it helps